In the next few minutes, I'll walk you through everything you need to know to get started into Fiverr. Whether you want to build services or offer your skills as a freelancer, the Fiverr is one of the best places to get started. So, Fiverr here is an online marketplace where freelancers can offer services, you can offer uh, highlight the platform, how to connect with clients, and much more. So, whether you need a logo design, you have a video edited, or a website built, the Fiverr has experts ready to help. And it's also a great platform for freelancers to showcase their skills and earn money. Now, to get started to become a seller, and rather than become a buyer, let's get started by hitting into the option that says join. And to join, it's going to be asking us to create a new account. You can choose to connect with Google, connect with email, or Apple, or Facebook. Let's focus into Google to make the basic information much more faster. Once you have access directly into the Fiverr, then you have now the access here into this element. I am looking to hire. I want to offer pro services. If you choose the option that says I want to start here, if you focus here into the upper side, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to become a seller. Become a seller. And this is the part where I want to get started selling here into Fiverr. Now, get ready to the breakdown. Let's get started and do this really easily. Let's focus here inside continue. Then what makes successful Fiverr profile, take your time to read all of this. Continue, take your time to read all of this once again. And now it should be asking you to enter your personal information, as well as a display name, a profile picture, a description of yourself, and the language that you customed or you are willing to speak. Let's go for continue. Now, which is the occupation that you will be working on? can enable or disable stuff which you like to use or to uh, let's say focus it on graphic design for example i can enable two out of five best skills and i can add my own skills for example uh, web developer kind of film editing film sound design music score and much more elements so you can add more skills as you are working here inside the fiber down here we have the education you can add your own education, where did you came from, what is the level of expertise that you currently have, the college that you study, and if you have any certification or award. You can add this if you wanted to. Lastly, a personal website. Go ahead for continue. And then we'd have an email as well as a phone number for account security. You must have one of those in order to start selling here into Fiverr. Now that you have personalized your personal information and your professional information, we are ready to get started with the selling here into Fiverr. So to get started here, I'm going to hit into create a gig. Now this is the first side. This is the first element where we can do, uh, use this to Fiverr to get started. Now this is the next step to get started in selling our work. So here into gig title, you have the category, the search text, and the save and continue. Before you start with some text, I'm going to open a new tab. I'm going to open Fiverr once again. And before I get started um, in gig title, let's say I will do something I'm really good at. So for example, I can say I will edit your YouTube videos, for example. But if I copy this title and I paste it into this services as if I were some sort of a buyer, you might see that I have more than 75,000 people working inside this service. So that means that I have a lot of competition. So you can try and add and cost your own Edison for your YouTube videos. But if you are willing to, let's say, have a successful here inside Fiverr, I can suggest you to look out for something else that is not with a lot of competition. So let's try to be a little bit more specific for example edit your youtube shorts so i'm going to hit here into the search bar and instead of 75,000, we have now 29,000. but still it is a really really high result for example youtube explainer video we have less uh, than 10,000. we have 5,700 results so this can be little accurate so if you think that you can do better than this guys then this one is affordable for us Let's go into the upper side and let's focus here. I will do a YouTube explainer video and here select a category. 
Now in this case, since this is a video, let's go for video and animation, video editing, or focus into explainers. This is totally optional. Let's try it out here for the metadata. The gig metadata should be helping us to understand what my gigs are going to be at. So it's going to be easier to find. So in this case, it should be YouTube videos. So with this, I think this one actually works for me. Now here into positive keywords, we can try to help the algorithm of Fiverr to understand what we're going to be doing here. What is the actual service? So for example, YouTube explainer video. YouTube explainer video explain and I believe that we have one two three four we can add up to five tags to get a more chances to get founded so let's go for YouTube video and we are now into the pricing stuff so if you are willing to work with let's say packages you can add up to three different packages for example let's say that this is a video up to five minutes and you can add it as a basic video you can opt to 10 minutes up to uh, 15 minutes and whatever so here what i need to do of course is to add the name of my package uh describe the details of my offering the delivery time is going to be taking uh, you to work on and lastly i have the if this one should be of course footage provided by the buyer uh, by buyer minutes for example 15 i can add 30 i can add 45 60 whatever so running time and minutes color grading sound designs depending on what is the actual category they chose then you can add if you can enable extra services for example like an extra color grading and extra motion graphics extra subtitles additional revisions right and hit now to save and continue then we have the description and the FIQ this is where we can include the most important information of your gift so then we can add different FIQ questions it can help you course to answer to the most common asked questions so here what you can do is to add an FIQ and even what I can do is to look out for some specific stuff in the requirement elements we can add some FAVA questions so this is a totally optional question that will be added for all the buyers. For example, if your order is a business, what's your industry? Uh, if the order part is a bigger project, what are you working on, right? So we can add your own questions. Let's say, for example, this is like the question for uh, the buyers, your questions you need to the buyers. In this example, um, since this is a YouTube video, I can ask questions, for example, what is the main message or goal of your explainer video? and I can get it a form for free text, multiple choice, adjustments, whatever. And here, do you have any specific branding elements that they need to be included? Let's go for if so. And now we have the showcase of the servers in a gig gallery. So this is gonna be really important. This is what people are gonna be seeing when they check out here at the Fiverr staff. So once again, you can go back into the Fiverr when you go for do YouTube explainer video and try to aim for looking out for people who have a lot of let's say gigs for example this one has 298 i will do a creative and amazing explainer video editing for youtube and you can see that this one uh, has an actual video have a story to show it doesn't look that great so you can try it out with something different so since this is an explainer video i would like to create an actual video uh using of course i would like to upload here an actual video not images but if you're going to be using images you can of course use for example canva when you're ready then we can scroll down and look out for save and continue the last thing to do before you are ready to publish stuff is to head into the published stuff so here it's going to be telling you let's check if you needed to fill out the form of the w9 so this is for example if you are an us person in my case i'm not so i'm going to hit now into safe then it's going to be asking you that there's of course no need to fill out the form here close this and lastly, you can, of course, verify your personal and business information for compliance purposes. This is totally optional, but you can do it if you wanted to. Go to your dashboard and into your business, you can focus into your gigs. And your gig should now be ready. Now, if you wanted to understand how to get started with the processing here, make sure that you have here the gig info, the orders in the queue, the active watermark, and you have all the impressions, clicks, orders, and cancellations. So if you see that there's a lot of impressions here, then you don't need to do a lot. But if you have one more clicks, you might have little orders here. If you have, let's say, a lot of impressions and not clicks, that means that you need to change your thumbnail or maybe the title of your gig. 
really, really important to consider to make some changes when you check out your Gixt. And lastly, you can check out your analytics, so you can check out your overview. You can review about yourself, you can review your active orders, you can see to get noticed, get more skills and exposure, check out your inbox, the level of the overview. This is going to be helping you to understand if you're able to have more success scores, qualify for next levels, response rates, the earnings you have done so far, unique clients, the orders, here's the progress tracker, and of course, what those level does to you guys. This is how we can actually get started with the Fiverr. You now know how to get started selling stuff here into Fiverr and analyze all of this information so you can have more success here into Fiverr. So guys, with that being said, you can now reach the pretty end of the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.